According to various statistics, there are between 10 to 13 million out-of-school children in Nigeria. This week, League of Extraordinary Nigerians recognizes Aramide Akintimei, founder Talent Mine Academy, a young lady making a personal effort to crash that number one Saturday at a time. I'm Oni Sunday, and you're watching League of Extraordinary Nigerians. <laughs> It's not every day you find a 20-year-old graduate of economics sacrificing her weekend to do a job she doesn't get paid for. At St. Peter's Catholic Primary School in Ota Ogun State, Aramide Akintimein's Saturdays are set aside to fulfill what she describes as her purpose in life, teaching. So as a teacher for Nigeria Fellow, I was posted to this school, actually. And I came when, I, when they were in primary two. So I came in primary two, and one day I went out for break, and I saw some kids walking around the streets. And I'm just, I asked, I called about two of them, and I asked them, what are you doing here? And they said, mommy, that means my mommy doesn't have money to send me to school. And for me, it was a great burden because I know how education has impacted my life, and I don't think it should be an option for these kids. Her pupils are eager to get in class, and this mats. English and basic science teacher is eager to teach. Good. So we're going to touch on addition. We're going to touch on the normal addition, the one that we just add. You know that you just add. You don't carry it. And then we're going to touch on the one we are going to carry. From street hawkers to artisans, some of Aramide's pupils spend their weekends and weekdays eking out a living. You went to work. So you bathed this morning. Wow. You saw the call this morning. It's the start of a new term, and according to the founder of this young school, today's attendance is quite impressive. At the beginning, it wasn't so easy because I didn't have the credibility, and you know, I needed to immerse myself in the community first, and then to get the parents to know that I had good intentions for what I was doing. And then the first day, one girl showed up. The next Saturday, two came. The next one, we had five. The next one, we had seven. And then we had about six people join us, and then two other people. So that was how we got to be 15. We have 22 now. Dissatisfied with the quality of education in some public schools in the state, she opened her doors to children in need of improvement, free of charge. The successes recorded motivate Aramide to do more. 14-year-old Rabia's transformation is one of many success stories. She was really timid. She was very timid. Because she was just her in the midst of sharp kids. Kids were already out of their shells. But she was just indoors and, you know, she wouldn't say anything in class. We wouldn't know if she's catching. She wouldn't communicate anything. But now, you know, I mean, you saw how she explained to the class. Before, if we called her to work out a song, she would just do it on the board and go. But, I mean, even when she was asked to explain properly to them, she was able to do it. And that's not the kind of girl she was when she joined us. Rokib Oyedele, a barber, and Messi Opoke are 13 and 14-year-old, respectively. They are in primary three. They sound confident about the profession they want to pursue. I want to be a doctor. Why do you want to be a doctor? Because the doctor is good. We will share on our math, English, legal science, social studies. We don't even need to do math or school. I want to be a musician when we go out. Aramide says her job is to provide the basics required for them to thrive in the future. If we wait for the government, we are going to wait a long time, a really long time. So, I mean, we just keep on being prayerful and hopeful about the government. But then, the little we can do, we do it. Imparting knowledge comes naturally to Aramide. As a young undergraduate at Covenant University, a private university in Ogun State, she was a recognized tutor. In her immediate community, she's known to have a cordial relationship with her pupils and their guardians. She's tried. When when was teaching my baby, there was getting something for her, cause she was good ladies. 
She was helping my family way way because my picking was bright. Her goal is to own a registered school that will cater only to out-of-school children in Nigeria. Until then, Aramide Akintimei says she is living a fulfilling life. Well, it wasn't about the money. It was about how I felt. It was about the kids. It was about these gifts that I have and pushing it out to those that really, really need it. Aramide's commitment to give back to a community that may never reward her and her determination to change the literacy narrative in Nigeria makes her our Extraordinary Nigerian of the Week.